Hello viewers, in this session we will discuss about statistical quality control of concrete. What is statistical quality control of concrete? Statistical quality control of concrete is used to analyze the number of the specimens and minimize the variation as much as possible. And as we know, we are measuring the hardened strength of the concrete mass and we also require to measure the tensile strength of the reinforcement. And we know that there is a variation of the cube of concrete mass or you can say there is different values of the variation with the different mass of the concrete. And this statistical quality control is used to analyze and provide the realistic variation in your concrete mass. And the chart you can see on your screen. Let us consider the specimen we have taken like x1, x2, x3 up to the xn and we show the scatter and you can see on your screen the data are separated into the group of selecting a length of interval and of the variable and the histogram that distribute the test result and the under the histogram represent the total number of results and the compression strength test results of from the random sampling of a mix with the plotted of histogram and found to follow the bell shape term as normal distribution curve. You can see on the second graph on your screen this is the normal distribution curve. Let us discuss about importance terminology for the statistical quality control for the concrete mass and first one is main strength which is indicated by x bar this is the average strength of the obtained by the dividing the sum of the strength of the all the cubes by the number of cubes and as we know we are consider the number of specimen for finding the hardened strength of the concrete mass for example x1, x2, x3, x5, x6 up to the xn and we have to find out the mean strength of or you can say the average strength of these specimens and here you can see the equation for the mean strength means x bar x bar is equal to summation of x i divided by n the x bar means mean strength and sigma x i means summation of strength of the all the cubes and n means number of cubes and then we can easily find out the mean strength of the concrete mass second one is variance this is the measure of difference between any single observed data from the mean strength. It means xi minus x bar and xi is the particular observed data and the x bar we know that the mean strength of the concrete mass. Next terminology is range. The range is different between the largest and smallest values 
in the set of the observations and next terminology is standard deviation which is denoted by s the standard deviation or root mean square deviations of set of observation is defined as you can see the equation for the standard deviation under root sigma xi minus x bar all square divided by n minus 1 what is xi this is the particular strength of the particular concrete mass and x bar is the mean strength and n is number of cubes so you can easily find out the standard deviation with this equation next terminology is coefficient of variation or coefficient of variance which is denoted by v and it is non dimensional measure of variation obtained by dividing the standard deviation by the mean strength and you can easily find out the coefficient of variation with this equation is divided by x bar multiplied by 100 what is s s means standard deviation and as we know x bar is mean strength of the concrete mass and then we can easily calculate the coefficient of variation now move on the numericals based on statistical quality control of the concrete mass this is our data the results of compressive test on 15 cubes of beige in megapascal are 19 18 21 24 19 18.5 20 21.5 22, 23, 19.5, 17.5, 24, 21 and 20. So these are the results of 15 cubes and you have to find out the standard deviation or coefficient of variation for the bench. So let us start. You can see these are the 15 cubes of compressive strength cube number 1 19 cube number 2 18 and you can see that you have total 15 number of cubes with compressive strength and you can easily find out that summation of this compressive strength now you have to total of this value and you can easily get the sigma xi means summation of compressive strength of the concrete mass of the 15 cubes which is 308 mega pascal then you have to find out the mean strength of the concrete mass and as we know we can find out the mean strength of the concrete mass with this equation the sigma xi divided by n what is sigma xi summation of compressive strength of the all the cubes we have 308 megapixel of sigma xi and we have 15 numbers of cubes so we can easily find out the mean strength of the concrete mass which is 20.53 mega pascal now let us find out standard deviation as we know the equation you can see on your screen we required sigma xi minus x bar all square divided by n minus 1 it means first of all we have to find out summation of xi minus x bar so with this data we can easily find out 
xi minus x bar all square for particular cube of concrete mass. So you can see for the first cube xi is equal to 19 and mean strength is equal to 20.53. It means xi minus x bar is equal to minus 1.53. If we take the square value of this, it means xi minus x square is equal to minus 1.53 square. It means 2.34. So, this value for the cube 1, 2.34. And we can easily find out for the all the cubes and then we can easily calculate the summation of xi minus x bar all square which is 59.72. Now find out the standard deviation and put the, all the values in this equation. S is equal to under root sigma xi minus x bar all square divided by n minus 1 and we know that sigma xi minus x bar whole square is equal to 59.72. So we have to put this value in this equation and we have 15 numbers of cube. So 15 minus 1. So we have find out 2.07 megapascal which is the standard deviation of this bench. And next step is find out the coefficient of variation which is V is equal to S divided by X bar multiplied by 100. S is equal to standard deviation which is 0 0.07 megapascal and we have X bar which is main strength of the all the cubes which is 20.53 megapascal multiplied by 100 it means we have a 10.08 percentage of the coefficient of the variation so this is the example based on statistical quality control of concrete mass let us discuss second example the following observations were taken for the compressive strength test on concrete cubes in Newton per mm square and find the mean strength, standard deviation and coefficient of variance. And these are the compressive strength of the concrete mass. You can see on your screen 17, 16.5, 16.2, 16, 15.8, 16, 15.5, 15, 14.75, 14.2 and 14 and you can see these values in this table. So these are the 10 cubes and we can easily find out the summation of the all the compressive strength of the cubes. So summation of this compressive strength of the all cubes is 154.95 mega pascal and we can easily calculate the mean strength of the concrete mass which is x bar x bar means summation of strength of the compressive cube which is 154.95 divided by total number of the cube which is 10 so we have 15.50 mean strength of the concrete mass and we can easily find out xi minus x bar all square we have a xi for the particular strength of the concrete cube and we can easily find out this value by 17 minus 15.5 and then we have to square of the answer and we can get 2.265 for the
particular cube. Here this value is for the first cube and similarly we can find out the all the values for the cubes and then we can easily calculate the summation of xi minus x bar is equal to 8.83 and here you can see we can easily calculate the standard deviation with this equation s is equal to under root sigma x minus x bar whole square divided by n minus 1. So 8.832 we have a summation of xi minus x bar whole square and as we know that we have a 10 numbers of cubes. So 10 minus 1 then we can easily calculate the standard deviation of the concrete mass which is 0 0.99 Newton per mm square and you can see we can also calculate coefficient of variation with this equation v is equal to s divided by x bar multiplied by 100 it means 0 0.99 which is the standard deviation of the concrete mass and as we have x bar value is 15.495 and you can see 15.50 newton per mm square multiplied by 100 and you can easily calculate the coefficient of variation and this value is 6.38 percentage of this badge. So this is all about statistical quality control of the concrete mass.